Okay, I'm going to be making another burlap flower. And um, this is what I got at Walmart. And that's what I'm using. And uh, I've already put a little strip of glue and glued this. Uh, it's some shears I got at a thrift store. And I'm making this for someone. Um, it's a real nice lady at work. And uh, she's decorated with burlap that's about that shade of green. And so I think that'll look good with it. And even if she, uh, you know, changes her decorations, it would match the rest of her decorations. So uh, I'm going to pull the corner down past the edge. And uh, I'm going to try to get this pretty tight. And I'm actually going to fold over again and keep rolling the little center piece. I'm going to put some hot glue. And at first, what I'm thinking I'm going to do is when I fold this over, I just take my hand flat like this and uh, have my thumb under. And I'm thinking I'm going to have it above the little bud just to keep making the center. And then I'm going to hold it kind of straight out. Keep rolling. Just a little rolling. I want that triangle piece to still show. I'm going to do it again. And I'm having to see I'm, I'm not going low. I'm going kind of high. And I think I'm going to go lower as I go. That's my plan. It can always be undone if it doesn't work. <laughs> Turn it just a little more. And let's see. Yeah, I'll make that one high. And now I think I'll start going lower. <clears throat> Let me roll it a little. And now I'm going to be going a little bit lower. Sometimes I... Um, get to going too low you just have to practice really when I'm going lower I need to kind of tell myself I'm going at the same level and then it always ends up a little lower okay I think it just gives it a little more of a rose shape when you start going a little bit lower but see, I'm getting a little too tall, don't you think? That's my problem. I'm going too low, so... Like I tell you, you learn what not to do on here, too. Okay, unrolled and starting again. Pulling it over. And staying kind of even, which will end up lower, which is what I want. But if I try to go lower... It ends up like being a stack of pancakes or something. So, uh, we're going to say even. And this is a lot of fabric. Most people use like 18 inches. Or, yeah. And I think I've used more than that. So, I really need to stay even or I'm, I really have a stack of pancakes look. And I'm going to try to stay loose. I realized when I pull tight, it, it doesn't give me any way to adjust it once I get to the end. And when I do it loose, you know, I have a, I can play around with it a little more. It's loose. It's hard to hold on to. Let me do that one again. And the thing, when you make them the rose shape, they, uh, they're not flat. And when you, when you hold it high like this, you get a more flat flower. It doesn't look as much like a rose to me. But it's nice and flat. Okay, and this little end, 
will be tucked under and glued. And so that's what I've got. A lot of times they end up with a lot of that in the same area, you know, a lot of the same fabric in the same area. But okay, I did it loosely. And I can take this center part and I can actually unwind a little. And that helped a little bit with lining the way they were lined up. And it flattened it a little more. So uh, you just really, you have to play around with it. And I don't know if I want my, uh, I don't want it poked up that high. So now I'm going to turn it. And I'm going to include a link. I don't know if I've already said this to my uh, other tutorial on making these. Uh, it probably explains a lot better. And you stick the glue gun in before you start pumping. Or you have glue all over the outside of it. Hold it together. But yeah, I was winding it really tight. And I was ending up like pancake stacks and I couldn't adjust it at all. So I'm like, I'm going to wind it and just start over. Especially since I was mouth breathing. Which I might have done again, but that'll be alright. This little tab we'll start gluing right here first then right in there and we'll go in all these little crevices with the glue falling apart but I'll show you um, how I cut this and kind of frayed it a little bit on the edges and then all this I'm going to try to cut with i got to get a better pair of scissors that's just all there is to it get it as flat as I can And probably, I noticed a lot of people put the felt on the back, and I haven't been, but I'll probably do it on this, because I guess you need something to put like a safety pin in, or something where they can hang it up. I guess that's the purpose of the felt. Because if I just glue some burlap down, it'd be hard to get a safety pin through that, unless I didn't glue the center. I glue the center like this, you know what? I might just put burlap. Okay, what'd I do with that? So now, cut a little piece of this off. And make a centerpiece. I should've done this ahead of time, but I didn't think about it. I just gotta remember not to put the glue in the middle like I've been doing. Okay. Should I do it that way? Yeah, I like it this way. So, I'm gonna put <clears throat> a good bit of glue. Oh, this burlap, oh, it gets all in my sinuses, my throat. Sometimes I wear a mask because. I'll have my phone laying here sometimes and there's like little powdery burlap pieces all over my phone screen. Yeah, I had my finger in that hot glue. Did you see that? <laughs> That's why I put it on low. <laughs> kind of pump it up a little bit maybe. There's a side view while those are lined up. <laughs> uh, yep. 
Ain't that pretty? And I've cut, I'm gonna make a smaller one. And I might even make another one because I think things in group threes is better than two. So, I don't know. Anyway. Okay, I gotta throw this in there. I almost forgot to show you how I, I, I used the part of the shear that I guess the curtain rod will go through, but I cut the fold where it'd be open, and then of course that's where I cut it, so taking the scissors and just, and see how it puckers, and then I'm pulling the puckers out. So I got that little bit of frayed edge. Okay, there they are finished. I made, um, this one's smaller than the other two, and I just took a thin piece of the fabric instead of the wider, and I also only made it, you know, the strip was only about six inches long instead of the entire length of the burlap, so the most of the green is just in the middle part. But I think they turned out pretty, and um, I had seen a tip online about the glue webs to run a hot blow dryer over it and it'll get rid of them and it didn't work for me. <laughs> but you could try it, see if it works for you. And on the back, there's the backs of them. And this one, I didn't save any for the last one. So I just had this little sliver I'd cut off. And I put it on there and it's kind of, you know, got some space to run something through it. So, uh, I think she'll like them. Anyway, let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.